Hello everyone, today I come to you with another celebrity game, this time between the legendary tennis player and Grand Slam winner Boris Becker versus Garry Kasparov, the former world champion. And this was played on CNN in the year 2000 with Boris Becker as white and Garry Kasparov as black. So let's begin. Boris kicked us off with 1e4 and Kasparov played e5. And here Boris was ultra aggressive with Queen h5. Now this opening has been played by people such as Hikaru Nakamura uh, in some serious games and what it does is just develop a queen out early attacking the e5 pawn and this, if here Kasparov blunders by playing king e7 then white could take on e5 and that is checkmate so Kasparov is very lucky there um, so Kasparov actually plays knight c6 protecting the pawn and here weirdly Boris decides to play Queen F3, moving the Queen again. Uh, this is a big no-no in the opening. Never move pieces twice. Um, he could have played Bishop C4, threatening mate on F7, and the game could have followed something like G6, Queen F3, Knight F6, maybe uh, Knight E2, Bishop G7, and D3. And this is all quite even. Instead, Boris played Queen F3. And now Kasparov played knight d4, punishing that move, attacking the queen. The queen is forced to move and he, Boris decides to put it on c3, where it's safe for now. It's, now Kasparov plays knight f6, attacking the pawn on e4, and that must be defended, and Boris defends it with f3. Here Kasparov plays g6, trying to develop the bishop. Well here he could have played d5, a much more aggressive move. Because if he takes d5, knight takes d5, the queen is attacked. And if it moves somewhere, for instance queen c4, it can just be attacked again with something like knight b6, queen c3, bishop b4. And for instance if we take on b4 here, knight takes c2, family fork. Uh, if queen to e3, family fork again with check, attacking all the pieces. Uh, and if somewhere like queen d3... Black can develop again with bishop to f5 and the queen is trapped. So this is why you never move the piece, especially the queen, three times in the opening because it can just get punished. Instead though, after f3, g6 was played by Kasparov and now knight to e2 and white actually has a reasonable game now. Uh, so white is threatening to take on d4 so it's reinforced with c5. Uh, Boris takes, C takes, attacking the queen again, and queen b3. Finally, the queen seems to be out of trouble. Bishop g7, just developing by Kasparov, and bishop c4, using it to rake down and attack the f7 square. So, black decides to castle, very logical, and here white plays c3. And Kasparov here decides to open up the position. Probably a wise choice. d5, finally. The bishop on c8 can get out and the rook could potentially move to e8 targeting the white king. So, the bishop's attacked also by d5. e takes d5 was probably a better option, but Boris didn't take it. Here could have followed a6, threatening b5 and maybe a4 to stop it. Uh, black could have punished potentially with e4, so, but after castles, e takes, rook takes, it's still quite an even game. Here, white plays bishop to e2, and this move now gets punished by d3 from Kasparov. d takes e4 is also possible after f takes, knight takes, for instance castles and d3, bishop f3, and something like knight d6, threatening to play e4, Black is just in total control. Look at all these pieces here. They'll never get out. This d3 pawn is just an absolute monster. But Kasparov decides to play it straight away. He plays d3 straight away. And it can just be taken. So bishop takes d3 from Boris. And now Kasparov takes on e4 with the d-pawn. And this is a discovered attack on the bishop on d3. So bishop takes e4 is forced. Kasparov captures and recaptures from white. And now white has pretty much stumbled on a lost position. Look at black's position, he's castled, he's got a Fianchetto bishop, all his pieces are pretty much out except his bishop, whereas white hasn't castled, 
these bishop on c1's trapped in, the knight's not developed and the rook isn't. So for this, for this reason, Casper plays queen h4 check, attacking the pawn on e4 and checking the king. King d1 is played and queen takes e4. White is, black is now just dominating the game. Rook e1. Finally pieces developed, bishop g4 check. And rook e2 is forced, so while it's mate. Queen takes e2 from Kasparov and king c2. And I think here Boris actually resigned, but that's only because after bishop f5 it's checkmate. So, that was quite an interesting game. I think Boris is quite a good player. He just decided to move his queen a lot of times in the opening. If he hadn't done that, we could have actually stumbled across quite an even game. But Kasparov showed his skill just playing all the basic moves. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll bring you another good game soon.